Hey, I'm Alan Brito from Blender 3D Architect and welcome to this tutorial about extensions. A few days ago, I posted a tutorial here on Blender 3D Architect about how to use and uh, find intersections between edges. This is a common concept on CAD and design. And here I have another example and let's explore the options that we have here in Blender to work with extensions and not uh, intersections anymore. Uh, if you have something that is orthogonal, like what I have here, uh, no angles, uh, everything straight and orthogonal, it's quite easy to find intersections. You can even use the default options of Blender with the snapping. For instance, let's say I need to find the, the extension and by extension, I mean uh, getting the point where these two extended edges meet. To find this location, we can easily use the snap. I will set it to vertex. If you press G, Y to move those vertices, you can find the reference location here and do the same thing here on the X axis. Done, quite easy. But let's say that you are feeling inspired and uh, you don't really need to work with something so easy like this. Uh, let's say you need something like this with an angle. Let's say it's a bunch of walls and you have this angled wall and you have to find the point to complete this design where this extension here and this extension here meet. I need to find this point. Uh, we can't really use the snap because uh, there is no reference for this. Uh, we have to find another way to uh, to uh, to uh, make this uh, extension or to find this point. And I will be using the exact same one of the exact same methods or add-ons used in a previous tutorial, the tutorial where I'm explaining how to find intersections, which is the tiny cad. If you don't have this, let's go and install TinyCAD. You can go into Edit Preferences and here under Get Extensions, you can search for Tiny. And you will see here TinyCAD Mesh Tools. And it will install the add-on. How can we find it? If you go into Edit Mode and right-click, you will see here tiny CAD. And one of the options is this one here, vertex at intersection. But wait, isn't it an extension? Yeah, there is no uh, practical way to create an extension uh, unless I'm using this option here to extend to a face. But what I want now is to find the intersection between two edges. And to find it, I need to select two edges let's select this edge here this edge here and if i right click and choose this option vertex at intersection look, look what i look what we got a vertex exactly at the intersection point between those edges let's select those two here right click and choose vertex at intersection uh, what can we do with uh, those vertices well, if you have the snap enabled, you can just press G and deform your shapes until it finds that location. And there we have it. An extension from both of those uh, edges. I know it's not exactly an extension. You found the intersection of the projected intersect of the projected uh, extension of both uh, edges, but it works in a very similar way, and it will help you to do exactly that. Uh, and what if you don't want to use the tiny cat? Is there a way to use uh, the full Blender tools or not an add-on to find it? Yeah. We can try to find it with a no add-ons, but it will require some manual work. First, I will have to extend any of my edges that are either perpendicular or parallel to the X or Y axis. In case this one here, I will extend that with the G key Y. And now I will do something that many people consider cheating, which is I will duplicate this point here or this uh, tools faces 
not re not really that uh not really that elegant uh, of a solution but it works to make it uh work i will have to enable here my auto merge and split edge faces press the n key go into tool and enable here auto merge and split edges why am i doing this because i don't want to measure this angle i just want a way to make this uh, set of planes here to follow until it reaches this location and we got the intersection point yeah i know it's not a very elegant solution but it works just have to erase everything that you don't need here and you have your points there you can easily let me erase this i can erase this select four of those vertices and press the f key to connect them done no need for an add-on just have to click on and make some duplicates of your face i hope like the i hope you liked the tutorial and if you find it uh useful please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the future blender tutorials see you next time bye